Well, welcome back to Nifty Gimme 5 2023. I'm Paul Robinson. And now that we've heard the final pitch, it's time for the judges to make their decision on the three finalists. All right, so that's the end of all of our pitches. And wow, what a diverse group of stories and techniques as far as pitching is concerned. So let's jump right into it. I want to hear what your favorites are so we can choose the three finalists for Nefty 2023. All right, let's see. Ted. I have four that I liked a lot. They are the first ones from the Philippines. Then number six, the dance for Rita. And then seven, Emma's very detailed, visual, sexual uh, one <laughs> from South Africa. And then finally, um, the the last one from Algeria, I thought was very, very powerful and very intriguing. I just don't know if it is what Neft is. I think it would be an incredible one to consider. So those are my four on my list. All right, Men and Clay, what you got? Milk and Mikhail for the very beautiful uh, subcultural relevance. I love the story and I also like how it's uniquely to the Philippines with the folklore about the, the spoons and them having a visitor. It was very specific and that's the reason why I loved it. Um, my second best, number six, Nahum. I really appreciated uh, the language of communication being dense and less dialogue and how the drink might be incorporated between the two lovers. And my third one was Zuleika, number 10. With everything that is going on right now with the predominantly Muslim countries, it was such a powerful mm -hmm. statement for me. And um, I really loved how they used the alcohol as an act of defiance. I'm not sure, <laughs> again, if it, it will go with according to what Nefti likes, because it's really... I hope it's funny. If it's not funny, it's, become, it's going to become more political. Okay. And Bruce? Well, I'm very much on the same page as Ted and Men and Clay. My top two would be Nahom and Zulika. So if I had to pick a third, I think I would probably go with one. I reminded how special the specificity of the Filipino culture was in theirs. And so I think I would probably go with one, six, and 10 would be my three. Okay. There's something about Emma's I thought was really powerful. And maybe it's just looking at all those movies on the look board. <laughs> it's very nostalgic. Okay. Viv, it's down to you. All right. Well, I'm in agreement with the top four. Yep. Okay. Uh, the teaspoon uh, scores, <laughs> Emma with her excellent presentation for the rom com. Um, but I, Love the romance this movie that I had. I, I'm worried about the social messaging. It is different. It's on the fence for me, which was the uh, our last presentation. That was number 10, correct? Mm -hmm. That's my fourth favorite. So I have my top four, but my top three are number one, number seven, and number six. That's it. Yes, congratulations. I love the difference, all the three that we have now, instead of two being very similar. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. And and also I like that they're all are very culturally indigenous. And I like that a lot because I think that's what Nefty is supposed to be all about is creating a film that feels like you're creating a film in the country that you're creating it. I'm very happy with the, with the diversity this year and places that we've never had represented before on any of the Nefties. And I love that it worked out that the pitches that we liked and the stories we liked actually came from a diverse group of countries because you never know, it could be all one country that pitches really well. And then your Nefty is all that, co that country. So I'm very excited about the way it turned out. Yeah, so that's that's it for now. 20, Nefty 2023, I'm so excited about for the finalists. And thank you guys so much for your time and your wisdom and for being a part of a part of Nefty. Well, there it is. The judges have made their decision on the three finalists. So check out tomorrow's episode when we let them know that they've been chosen. I'm Paul Robinson. Stay creative.